So we are going to be talking about how you're going to go about doing your usability testing for your group project. There are two things we're going to focus on today that are very strongly interrelated. One is we're going to very quickly be going through some of the documentation that you need to have, that you're going to need to customize. Now that's also going to include a very, very quick, where is that page? A very quick overview of the five characteristics of usability testing and the stages. I am not going to go in depth in the stages. For this lecture, I will do that on Thursday. But I want to give you a sense of how you're going to go about doing your studies. Because the other thing we're going to focus on today is task wording. Now, when I ch last checked, which was I guess was last night, only one group had submitted their, you know, their, their uh, tasks. Have any other groups submitted them yet? A your five tasks. Just a list of your five tasks. Anyone? No, nope, just the one group. The one group that I submitted. Are you guys here? Yeah. Do you want me to, to go ahead and do your tasks in class? I will tell you it's to your advantage. Okay, yeah, sure. It is definitely to your advantage. Okay. <coughs> now, I'm going to be jumping through these slides a little bit today because I just want to do a quick overview. I will go through them in more detail on Thursday because I do want to be able to focus on your tasks. So what this topic is about is usability testing. And so this is providing you a guide. We're going to be going, going over various aspects of this over the next several weeks as you are working on your group project. Because what is your group project? Usability yes, it is usability testing. So I will go through this on Thursday. So with usability testing, of course, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing the usability of these various products or sites that you have selected. Now, as part of that process, there's a lot of documentation that you're going to need for your various stages. I'm going to very quickly list some of this documentation and show them to you, keeping in mind that if you go to the folder, if you go to the folder in Moodle, Group Project Instructions and Materials, they are all here for your use. You have to customize them, but they are all there so you don't have to go hunting around or creating your own. Especially, don't create your own. Does anyone know why you don't want to create your own? There are a couple of reasons. Anyone? Who wants more work? <laughs> yeah, nobody. So one, it creates more work for you. Two. There's a ton of templates out there that already exist, that have been used in industry for quite a number of years that we know meet the needs of usability testing. In fact, I can tell you in looking at all of these samples that I put here, how many of those do you think I personally wrote myself? None. Zippo. You'll see that I got them from various websites online. If you look online, you can find lots and lots of templates that you do want to look at the copyright, of course, but are Creative Commons, for example, where you are free to use them. 